It's Ricky. We are in the parking lot of Val Surf, which is a place that sells skateboards, among other things. And I've decided that after 25 years, I'm going to get back on a skateboard. He's going to break something. Well, Jude. And Lucy. Both are skating. And why fight it? Now, can these old bones handle skating again? It's been a long time. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do tricks, but we gotta start again somewhere. I'm gonna go get a skateboard, and then we're going to go to a skate park, and Jude's gonna reteach me how to skate. So let's go. All right, let's go. Kevin's yeah. helping me out today a little bit. And he's warned me that, no, I'm not too old to do this, but I should. Take it slow, there's no rush. It's just for fun. No, there's no reason to hurt yourself. I'll probably hurt myself whether I'm trying to take it easy or hey, not. That's, but... that's, that's part of it, for sure. But you, it's calculated risk. And she has cool pants. Like, they're slamming. Instead of baggy, they're like really cool. Not that baggy is always bad, but you know, it's nice to see something a little fitted once in a while. That's the selection here. I have chosen a board. Ramon's board, had to do it. Jude's out here, he, he's turned this into a shopping spree. Well, this is officially mine, it's all black. All right, so next is actually trying this freaking board out. I might be hobbling after this, I don't know. <laughs> We're now at Santa Clarita Skate Park. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna try this. But you know what? I'm not gonna kill myself. Yeah, I'll probably kill myself. So if we go back in time, I do have some ties to skateboarding. There's even a like a rocker trading card with me skating on it. One of the things was I wore a Vision Streetwear shirt in one of our videos, one of the Poison videos, and it kind of went viral. I started to see it in the front row. Vision Streetwear called me up and said, oh my God, thank you so much for wearing this. We're getting so many orders for these shirts. And one of the guys that worked there was a guy named John Grigley. And he said, hey man, he goes, I have my own uh, company called Old Ghosts and I've been trying to get it off the ground. I'd like to send you a couple shirts. And uh, I love this stuff. And he was a high level street skater. So him and I got involved and got this company off the ground and it went for quite a while. John was a great guy to work with. We eventually closed the, the business down. He was doing a lot more of the work than I was. I was out on tour and doing whatever. And then he moved to New York. We haven't stayed in touch, unfortunately. But if you're out there, John, all the time that we spent together doing that business was awesome. And uh, I really, I miss your brother. And I appreciate all the that went into that business back then. Anyway, that brings me back to today. You know, I just, at one point, I just stopped skating. I just got into motorcycles way more and everything else, and I just stopped skating. But I got back in touch with skating briefly when my nephew, Mark Walmer, he got involved in a company called Shitbird Skates. They asked me if I would do a graphic because they wanted something with pinstriping. So I did a, a pinstripe board, and Jude is actually riding the deck. I only have two. One, I just keep I have it hung up in the garage and the other one I gave to Jude now that Jude's skating and Lucy's skating I'm either gonna stand there and watch them skate or I'm gonna get involved and at my age I don't know if I should be doing it but I'm gonna do it so let's go so this is my Ramon skateboard pretty nice and I do not have proper skateboarding shoes but these are awesome shoes these are my on cloud shoes I'm gonna try skating in these so it's intimidating walking into a skate park where all these young kids are doing all this crazy stuff. Look at this guy. So first ride in 25 years. Okay, I'm feeling pretty pathetic right now. Hey, 
I fall, this camera's trashed. This kid's better than me. That kid's better than me. This kid's better than me. I'm a pathetic mess out here. I'm afraid to go down this ramp. My dad's first ramp. All right, baby steps. We. <laughs> that was a baby step. <laughs> the thing I always liked about skateboarding is that you kind of, I don't know, express yourself your own way. It's like a different kind of sport where it's a lot of self-expression. And that's what I always liked about skating. There's very few rules. You just try stuff and if it works and you're having fun doing it, then it's awesome. But you do pay for it. <laughs> it hurts sometimes. <laughs> 